Eov, Job 9. Then Eov answered and said, I know it is so of a truth, but how should man be just with El? If he will contend with him, he cannot answer him, one of a thousand. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who has hardened himself against him and has prospered? Which removes the mountains and they know not? Which overthrows them in his anger? Which shakes the earth out of her place and the pillars thereof tremble? Which commands the sun and it rises not and seals up the stars? Which alone spreads out the heavens and treads upon the waves of the sea, which makes Arcturus, Orion, and Pleiades, and the chambers of the south, which does great things past finding out, yea, and wonders without number. Lo, he goes by me, and I see him not. He passes on also, but I perceive him not. Behold, he takes away who can hinder him? Who will say unto him, What do you? If Eloah will not withdraw his anger, the proud helpers do stoop under him. How much less shall I answer him and choose out my words to reason with him? Whom, though I were righteous, yet would I not answer, but I would make supplication to my judge. If I had called and he had answered me, yet would I not believe that he had hearkened unto my voice. For he breaks me with a tempest, and multiplies my wounds without cause. He will not suffer me to take my breath, but fills me with bitterness. If I speak of strength, lo, he is strong, and if of judgment, who shall set me a time to plead? If I justify myself, my own mouth shall condemn me. If I say I am perfect, it shall also prove me perverse. Though I were perfect, yet would I not know my soul. I would despise my life. There is one thing, therefore I said it. He destroys the perfect and the wicked. If the scourge slay suddenly, he will laugh at the trial of the innocent. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Now my days are swifter than a post. They flee away. They see no good. They are passed away as the swift ships, as the eagle that hastens to the prey. If I say I will forget my complaint, I will leave off my heaviness and, for, and comfort myself. I am afraid of all my sorrows. I know that you will not hold me innocent. If I be wicked, why then labor I in vain? If I wash myself with snow later and make my hands never so clean, yet shall you plunge me in the ditch and my own clothes shall abhor me. For he is not a man, as I am, that I should answer him, and we should come together in judgment. Neither is there any daysman betwixt us that might lay his hand upon us both. Let him take his rod away from me, and let not his fear terrify me. Then would I speak, and not fear him. But it is not so with me.